Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today we're going to start our really long journey to Kakariko Village to talk to Impa. So without further ado, let's leave this plateau and move on and see if we can find some interesting things along the way. And I just noticed it was raining. I hope that... Oh! What did that? And Oh yeah, I'm still at really low health. Hold on, I gotta fix that. I think we still have- we have one stake. Well, I hope that will last us for a little bit. We just have to be careful not get hit. And there are some giant enemies over here. I'm not sure if I should fight them just yet. Oh, hey! Ow! At least the jellies die in one hit. But I'm not really a big fan of how slow that weapon is right now. And I'm trying to look what the hell could have dropped those boulders, but I think it just happened randomly? And I'm trying to think if I should go fight him or go around. I think I'm gonna go around and I'm going to climb that pillar over there. And take a look at our surroundings, see if we can find something interesting that doesn't lead to our death. Because maybe I could take down one of them, but I really don't think we can take down all three. Not with just four hearts. They look tough. And I don't feel comfortable enough trying to kill them with my skill at combat in this game. Oh, hey there, little foxy. How are you doing? Oh, it even gives us a little box to start our climb. Oh, I hope I can make this. Screw it. We can't make that, sadly. We don't have enough stamina. So next time we have four of those spirit orbs, I'm going for a little bit of extra stamina. What's that up there, though? I don't know, would it be worth going there? I think everything would be worth exploring, of course, but... Let's take a look on the map. So we're about to get into the big area. But before we do that, we kinda... <gasps> look at this! Okay, cool, we got another one of these shrines. Might as well do it while we're here. Boshkala. What kind of shrine will this be? I doubt it will give us anything new to you, so I think it's just going to be use whatever you got and try and get through here. So might as well. Alrighty, bring it on. I think I can take on anything you throw at me. Thank you, Barshkala, but let's start doing this. And there's nothing I need to activate, so we're not going to get anything new here. Come on, there we go. What is this, Amber? We already got one of those, but Later on, we'll probably find out what we actually use that for. So, we got a lot to do with just air. But I think we're almost there already. But why is this in the other direction? Like, just in case we have to go back? Like, are you going to tell me we're not getting teleported out of here at the end? I see no real reason why I should go down there. We can just do this. Was that really it? That was really fast. Like, holy crap. 
And I can't even say that I'm getting better at this because it really was that straightforward. Thank you very much. Now we need three more. I actually wonder how many of those shrines there are. Because if you think of it, every four gives you a heart piece. There are pretty... Uh, there are a lot of hearts. Or a heart container. Like, let's say one orb is a heart piece. And then four orbs is a heart container. And I think I'm going to try and get that chest over there. So, there should be a lot of shrines. And also, because you have to upgrade your... Stamina bar with it as well, so there must be over a hundred scattered throughout these fields. Oh god. Oh god, this, there are so many. Let's uh, try what I want. Oh, they're dancing! I thought they actually spotted me. But what I wanted to try was this. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry, but that was so cool! I need you to come back here, because this is a 1v1 now. Oh! Oh god, that's... Oh! We almost died there. Bokoblin Guts. Well, this uh, game became a lot more grin. Let's grab these. I don't really need anything else. Well, maybe a club, but... Um, yeah. Okay, let's go grab this box. And I saw a fire. So, we can try and sit at the fire. Soldier's bow. Good. Just... Oh. Well... I wonder. Oh, I didn't want to use that. But yeah, uh, I should remember this for next time. But yeah, well, at least we know where to get another soldier's bow. Can I actually sit here and regenerate? Let's wait until morning. Did it regenerate my hearts? No, it didn't. This is going to be tricky. Guess we'll be using this for now. I think we need to scavenge some stuff. What's this? A throwing spear. But, of course, we don't have... Makes... Can I throw this one away? Because this one is stronger. I would think we could do something with this. Well, I don't have to wait. I just need to scavenge stuff so... I can regenerate some health because this is going to be nerve-wracking if I have to go through the entire field to Kakariko Village with just half a heart. Okay. So we do have some mushrooms. Eat. Let's try and regenerate some stuff. This gives the full spicy pepper. Okay, now I feel a little bit more confident. And I did not want to do this. Yeah, I, oh yeah, of course, I got a shield. I have to remember to use my shield. And we found our first random person. Hey there. How are you doing, mister? The end is here. Oh, you're looking at Death Mountain? Aww. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, just does, uh, just says it's badder than most. So, what is it you're seeing? We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? No, we haven't, mister. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. Uh, I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. 
By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that happened. These long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all the craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Oh, you mean the Guardian over there. Ah. That's a good idea. Yeah, the Guardian is worth watching. Uh, it Just like the ones from those old stories. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. Seriously. Okay, so they're just randomly all over the place and they can pop up at any moment. That's just good to know. Nah, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape and in the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway. I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Thank you very much for the useful information. So can we... Huh? Wait, what? I, I just wanted to see if I can paraglide over there. You won't change the world by jumping carelessly to your doom, don't you know? That would only be one thing that... And that's... <gasps> drive me baddie. Drive me batty. Seriously. Think of the shock I'd suffer seeing something like that. Ah. You're fine. Just don't be careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. Well, I, w I wasn't planning on on doing that, but... Okay, I'll walk... I'll, I'll go around. Never mind, mister. I'm not going to jump off the bridge. I'm so sorry. Oh, we got another guardian over here. We might be able to get some goodies. Although there isn't any water here. So do we have another way? Can we use maybe... No, we can't use Magnesis. Guess we just got to search for one thing here. And I think that's about it. Or can we go to the other side and get some... No, of course not. So where are we going? I kind of wanted to go over there, but the guy kind of scared me off with the, uh, guardians. We got a path upwards, which is kind of a good idea so we can take a look around. Ooh. Hold on. Food. Yes. Okay, I'm going for food. One thing that I do need is remote detonated bombs. Because they seem to do the trick against bogoblins, so... Yeah. There's nothing underneath that I can shoot, though. Hey there. Do you see something? Well, that didn't really help. Did get to hit you, though. Whoa! Don't throw stuff at me! <laughs> that was your buddy. That wasn't me. I'm so sorry, but... Do we have a dodge button? Come on! Why does this blue guy have so much health? Hey, Boko Bat! Uh, but I can't bring it with me, just freaking great. Okay, uh, can I... Throw something away? I think that bat is a lot stronger than... Let's say that... This? We got some fangs. Where did we kill the other guys? This guy got blindsided by one of his friends. Got some mushrooms. Got some more stuff. We got a chest. And we got a stake. So we got something to regenerate some more health. 
I feel bad killing a, uh, killing an entire camp just for the meat. Something I can use. An opal. Good. I think that's the start of Kakariko Village over there. Oh, never mind. Kakariko Village is... Oh. Oh, I... I, I delete stamp. I didn't want to do that. So, first off, I'm going to go through those tree trunks. And look. Although, we could go to that tower. That's also a vantage point. No, nope, never mind. I'm back. Uh, I'm going to be sidetracking. I'm going to look what's here first. Maybe there are some good lootable items in here. Definitely going to be taking the mushrooms because they give a little bit of health. And no thank you. Nightshade. Nightshade isn't good for you, Link, so don't eat it. Because that will end our journey real fast. Let's go up here and take a look. So, we got a couple of flags. We got a tower that we're definitely going to try and scale. We got something burning in the woods over there. I see another shrine! Something tells me I should go to that shrine, though. Because there's also something... Look at this. Look at this. Looks like a hut. So I think we're going to go there. And there's another tower over there. There are so many towers. Okay, we're going to go there first. Shouldn't take too long. It's not that far away. And then we'll circle back around for the tower. And see if we can actually get up there. But we're finding a lot of items that actually... For food? So I wonder if at a certain point we can start cooking. I do see a lot of cooking pots around, but it doesn't seem to let me do my thing. Oh, come on. Link, we can do this. I don't want to drown. This would have be a bad way to end our journey. Sneaky river snail. A large glow-in-the-dark snail lives in fresh water. See? It said it was good for in a dish. So we can make food. Oh! What? This seems kind of random to be here. And was that an octa rock, but then in the ground? Let's see what we can do. Oh, hey there. At least these choo-choos are pretty easy to deal with. That damn octa rock? Let's see if we... Ow! Ow! Okay. <laughs> you missed! Come on. Ah, never mind. I'm going away because I can't seem to hit this guy. <laughs> Move! What the hell is this? I'm used to Octorox being in the freaking... Water, not in the ground! Okay, keep moving this way. Keep moving this way. Oh, look at this. Ah! Could you guys please stop? Okay? I have nothing to go against you. Apparently, my shield will deflect it, but it will not deflect it fast enough. To hit you? And I got fire arrows, don't I? <laughs> okay, that's fun. Woo! Hey! I'm here to wreck your day! You don't have a weapon, it seems, and he fell down. <laughs> hey there! Okay, I can't use this bow. 
Why did I come up here if there's nothing really for me? Well, I think I just kind of screwed myself. Unless this does a lot of damage. It does. Yep. Oh, it didn't do... Uh-oh. <laughs> come on. I was hoping the bomb would do a lot more than that. Feels like kind of a waste of fire arrows. I don't have normal arrows. But yeah, we're almost at the shrine. Should be somewhere around here. See, I can already see it. Good. No, Octorox! Don't do it. Don't you guys even dare. I got... Oh god, I got... Oh, hey there, Mr. Piggy. So, let's go to that hut first, and then we'll move... Ow. Look, those are normal ones. I remember those. Oh. Eee. Why is it so... They got some aim. Like, holy crap. Like homing missiles coming in for the kill. <laughs> move, move, Link. Damn stamina. <laughs> go, 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 go. Move. But I wonder who the hell put those little wind propellers on those tree stumps? Because this is the second one already. Well, it's not on it, but next to it. What was that noise? Okay, I heard a weird noise and I'm not sure what it was. Wait. What is this? Oh, I don't want to climb trees, Link. Come on, let's go down, let's go down. Oh, hey there. Did we find Riverside Stables? Yeah. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. My name is Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. <laughs> but even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers. And I always charge a fair price. Or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How may I help you today? Let me see what you got. I don't have any rupees, but might as well take a look at what you have. You do have arrows. Wait, six rupees for one arrow. All right. Oh. Let's see, what what can I sell that's worth a lot? Like, this is worth like 3 rupees, I got 20. 8 rupees, 12 rupees. You know what, we cannot get a lot more of this stuff. <laughs> okay, now we have a little starting money. Let's sell one of these. There we go. Now, let's go back to the buying. I'll get some arrows, because why not? 30, because this is all you have, right? Yeah, then might as well, I'll take five of these. And we're done! Thank you very much for your business, Beetle. And I hope to see you again soon. Hi. Ah, a customer. Are you traveling alone? This inn gets full marks of beauty. Okay, so I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river here makes for some lovely scenery, and if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Milano Sandbar. Or, why did I say Milano? Milanino. Mi, mi, bleh, bleh. Yeah, that. Milanino Sandbar. There we go. I can pronounce names, Joy. <laughs> the scenery there is every bit as lovely as the scenery here. It, I'm somewhat of a connoisseur. 
of beauty. You see, I simply cannot resist a beautiful sight. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own be beautiful appearance. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you you have some beautiful features? Uh, I don't have many fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, would you indulge me? Sure. Oh, you would. Even more beautiful on the inside. Now, let's see. If you head north through Hyrule Fields, you'll see a castle surrounded by a foul aura. It has long been a den of monsters, but in its glory days, it's surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that fairy castle, in those fairy days, that my ancestors... My grandfather's grandfather, I believe. Anyway, he worked in the castle's appointed... Uh, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. Uh, I couldn't believe it myself. How I wonder what sort of cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed in these good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Oh, if only things had been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. <laughs> oh my, I think I'm salivating and it's my purpose of those childhood dreams that explains that fabulous body you see here. <laughs> well, it's not really a fabulous body, mister, but okay, I'm getting kind of weird out by this conversation. These days, I enjoyed my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty with any traveler willing to listen. But I still wonder what it could have been. Anyway, excuse me, it seems to have caught myself prattling on. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and dis uh, discussing meals of beauty has rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in you to keep an eye out for a cookbook? Sure. There must be one lying around somewhere in there. I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal court. That was one heck of a conversation, and yes, when I sometime in the future go and- Oh, I did not want to do that. It's somewhere in the future that I go into Hyrule Castle, I'll try and find it for you. Okay, mister? If I not decide to keep it for myself. Yeah. Have you gone to the giant castle north of here? That's Hyrule Castle. It's said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. I used to sneak in there to salvage ancient treasures, but it's a bit too dangerous to go in there now. Mm. These days I'm surrounded by a eerie mist of savage machines-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went looking for those ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary amongst collectors, but I was never able to find any. Oh. Oh. Welcome! Will you be staying with us? Uh, a regular bed costs 20 rupees, a soft bed 40. Oh. I'm uh, gonna leave, that's a bit expensive. And we got one of these shrines. So might as well go take a look at what waits in here. Come on Link, we really need to get the stamina upgrade. Okay, let's see what we got in here. The last one was wind based, so I wonder what this one is. You know, and if my theory is correct with how many of these shrines there could be, then it's bound to happen that we're probably going to find a couple shrines that are really similar. Can we climb up here? Yes, we can. But we probably have to use these to go to the other platforms. Amber! Okay, so we need to get up there. Okay, I see what we need to do. So, first off, we need to start stacking. Magnesis. 
first off, going to be stacking here. Because we need to get up there to grab that bridge-like thing. There we go. And one more. Okay, a little bit back, a little bit back. There we go. Now, please don't fall while I'm climbing. And we got this. Now, let's see if we can grab this. Okay, push. You know what, let's take this down, because I think it will be a lot easier to do it that way. There we go! Because we need to get this somewhat in the middle, I would think. Come on, come on. And drop. can do this. This won't be too hard, I hope. And now for this one. Come on, is this it? No? Okay, I gotta move them a little bit more to the left. But I th yeah, I think I can't move the entire tower, so here we go. It's just trial and error at this point. Let's try and make it a little bit more stable than the last one. And... got it! And now for the last piece. And I gotta be careful because I don't wanna... push... the tower. Now let me place it like this... and grab it from this side. Okay, here we go. Did it work? Looked like it did. Good. That went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Hey there! Give me the spirit orb, please. And I think we can skip this, right? Because they're all going to be the same dialogue. Yes, it is. Thank you! Now we need two more. For an extra heart piece. 